Microvellum is an AutoCAD-based design to manufacturing solution, and while it's certainly not a sign-making software, occasionally our customers are asked to provide some simple sign work, uh, requiring them to add text onto a part. Microvellum typically runs on an OEM version of AutoCAD. If you're using full version AutoCAD with Microvellum, you can use the Express Tools Explode Text functionality. In this video, we'll have a look at a way that you can achieve the same result using the OEM version without the Express Tools. To start, just simply create some regular text with whatever you need. Any font will work. It'll be a matter of how your machine will handle the tooling and uh, detail that's needed. For this example, I'm just going to use a standard Arial font. In previous versions of AutoCAD, you could use a WMF in and WMF out command at this point to bring that text in as simple lines. In the later versions of AutoCAD, that no longer works, and so we need to mirror the text in order to trick the software into not recognizing it as text. AutoCAD gives you two options for when you mirror text. One is to actually mirror the text, and the default is to just move the position and keep the text orientation in a readable fashion. So here's what happens when I mirror the text. So I want to change uh, command, mirror text, to a value of 1 so that it will actually mirror the text. And then I just use the regular AutoCAD mirror command to mirror that text. Now I can use the WMF out command. and select on my mirrored version of the text. And then I'll use the WMF in command to pull that text back in. And now you can see that it came back in as regular AutoCAD lines. You can scale and adjust. It's a block right now, so I'll just explode it. And then you can see it's regular lines. I can mirror that, scale it as needed, and get rid of my original text. Now there will be a little bit of cleanup required, and so here I'll just trim out some of these extra lines. And then convert them to polylines. This just makes it easier when you go to select them uh, for the machining. You don't have to turn them into polylines, but it just makes it a little easier when you select them. So now I have polylines for my text. Now I'll just draw out a part from the library. So Microrealm comes with an extensive library of products. Just in the miscellaneous, I'm just going to grab a regular starter part. And I could do this on any item, any part within the library, whether that's a cabinet, a door, or uh, just a small part like this. I'm just going to copy the text polylines to my clipboard. And then draw the part in 2D. So if I go to my Modify, modify my parts and just draw that part in 2D. Now I can just paste my text in there and just scale it to the size that I want. And just adjust its location to where I want it on the panel. And now I can just use my 2D machining tools, use some routing tools, and assign a tool to it. So I'll just make it three millimeters deep, select on the existing lines, and then I'll assign tooling to those uh, parts. Now I'll just go back and draw that up in 3D. And you can see there's my text on my part. And I can just take that out to the CNC and run that part. 